Hello and welcome to the series on Microsoft Power Apps. And in this video, we're gonna be finalizing our employee application and adding it to our SharePoint site. So we've already created our home screen. We've done our about screen and we have our employee screen where we list all of our employees coming from our SharePoint data source. And we have an employees detail screen that shows the employees information. And it also has a link to the home page and to the edit screen and also an option to delete the um, employee record and go back to the employee screen and list all of the employees. We've also created an edit screen and we've created our template for our colors and design and we also have our master page. Great, so make sure that you save your application. Um, mine's already saved, but click on save and then click on publish and we can actually close the application and we will go back to our designer. So if we click on our designer and we see um, for our employee two, we can go down to details and this will give us all of our information about our application. So when it was created, when it was modified and important, we have a link over here. We also have the versions, uh, we have the connectors. So we're using um, Office 365 user information and a link to our SharePoint site. We don't have any flows connected to this application, but if we did, it would be listed here. And then we also have a, a um, tab for analytics that can show all of the information about our application. So performance, location, and usage. Great, so um, in previous videos, we created a team site. And on that team site, we created a tab for our employees app. And this was for the first version of the employee application. So if you wanted to add a um, application for uh, Power Apps or tab for Power Apps, you could click on the plus sign and you could add it over here. I've already done that in a previous video, so check out the video. And uh, for this video, we'll be adding our site to SharePoint. So let's go back to our Power Apps. And if we go to our details page, uh, we can copy this URL and let's just copy it. If you actually open this URL, it will run our application. And you can see over here, this is our application. But we need this application to insert it into SharePoint. So if we go back to our SharePoint site and make sure you're on the home page, what I want to do, I want to edit this page and I will delete all of this information that's currently here. So I'll delete this and I will delete this and I will also delete documents web part. So let's remove that. And now we have two columns and in the one column we have the quick links and in the other column we have our uh, where we will add our application. So if you click on the plus sign and if we scroll down, you can see we have an option to add a Power App, uh, Microsoft Power Apps, click on that. And on the right hand side over here, you can see we have a link. Now this is the link that we copied over here. So this link at the top here. You can also access your link by going to your application and right clicking on it and saying play, or you can also go to uh, details. I already have the link copied, so I will paste that here. And uh, give that a second, that will save it. So this is our application. And what I also want to do, I want to add a link. So we currently have two links over here. I will edit this link and this will be the link for our um, employees list. So let's just open this and let's get the link for the employees list. If we copy that Go back to the SharePoint and uh, click on the in the quick links, click on the first item. If you say edit, we can give it a title. So let's say employee list and uh, we can remove let's change the url that it's got there and we'll say from link and we can paste this over here let's say insert and let's also change the icon we will look for a employee icon i don't know if they have an employee icon but let's just select uh, this one here you can select any one you want Great, that will change it. Let's select this, the second icon. If we say edit and we can say uh, a name over here, we can say employee images. And let's also change the icon. So if we say change and let's search for image. I'll select that one 
and that would be the image for our employee and let's change the link and if we select the top here we can go from our site we can go to documents and we can say general and uh, employees and let's open that so under our quick links over here i want to add another web part and let's scroll down you could add the highlighted content we already had the highlighted content on the left here but i want to add a, another web part to display all of the employees so um, i'll select the image gallery and this will bring us to the navigation we can select recent images or we can go to our site uh, we can say documents and we can say general and under employees uh, we we'll click on the tick box at the top here on the left and that will select all of our employees however i don't want to have the default image of uh, for employees without an image so i'll unselect that and i'll say okay and uh, you have an option to change how you want to display the images so either as a brick as a grid or as a carousel so i'll leave it as a carousel and uh, let's click on save draft and we have to also republish great if we click on home this will take us back to our home screen and you can see over here we have a link if we if we click on this link it will take us to our employees list if we go back to our home page we also have the link at the top here for our employees image and this will take us to our folder with our images in and if we click back to our home page uh, we also have the carousel on the right here and if we click on the arrows we can navigate through all of our employee images currently have 25 and if you add a new image you have to go and add this to the gallery great let's have a look at our application so on the left hand side you can see we've got our employee application it's got the title at the top here and it also has these tiles so view uh, employees add an employee and about so let's click on view employee and this will display uh, have a search bar at the top here it also has the filter to select an employee from a specific department and if we scroll down we can see a list of all of our employees if we click on one of the employee you can see it displays the information so over here we have P penelope snow she's in the hr department and she's hr assistant and she has an email address of penelope.snow at webbysolutions.com we could also edit her information if we clicked on edit, uh, but I'm not going to edit this information in this uh, video. We've already done it previously. You could also delete it and we could also navigate back to home or we could go back to our employees list and select another employee. Let's select an employee without any uh, image and you can see over here she will have the default image displayed. Great. Again, you could also edit it delete it or we could go back to to the employee list or we could navigate to our home screen if we wanted to add a new employee we could click on the add and we would have the option to to add a new employee um, the about is just the information of the application uh, you could add any information here that you wanted to but let's go back to our home page and that is how we add our employee application that we created in power apps to our SharePoint site. So this brings this project to, to close. I'll be working on the next project and I'll be publishing that in the upcoming videos. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next project.